Welcome to Getting Started with Clues, a series of short videos designed to show you how to use and operate Clues. We'll pay special attention to the new features here in Clues version 3. If you are a new user, you might wonder what makes Clues different from other genealogical programs. Well, if you are watching this video, you are probably researching your family history or that of a client. As part of that effort, one of your goals is to build family trees or pedigree charts. In the typical genealogical software program, you must first enter information about each person. Since the information is organized around these people, we can refer to these types of programs as being people-based. But where does this information come from? It comes from documents, and lots of them. The more we look, the more we find. And often, it's not easy to determine which of the people in the documents are the same as the one we are looking for. That's where Clues comes in. Clues is document-based. It matches the way we gather data. From documents, we can identify a person's events and characteristics. You enter information about a document first, and then associate people with that document along with their details. We use clues to organize and record the data we gather. We can use it to plan our research or to generate reports from the data. So sit back and watch this video series as we cover various tasks you will commonly perform. Be sure to consult the Clues 3 user guide for detailed information. You can also visit our website at clues.com to learn more about the program. Thanks for watching.